Because we're using Twig, this allows us to create really nice templates that we can reuse. And it gives us a really nice structure to work with rather than just requiring files in everywhere. So we're going to set up our base template, which all of our other templates will extend. So they all look the same. They all have the same look and feel to them and essentially just the same structure. So let's start by just creating a new folder in here. I'm going to call this templates and inside of this folder, we're going to create a file called app.twig. So in here, this is just going to be a basic document layout. And let's just go ahead and give this a title. Now there's a couple of things that we need. We're going to be using bootstrap, which is a front end framework. And we're also going to be pulling in jQuery as well. Now this is mainly due to the bootstrap navigation, which is responsive and requires JavaScript. But of course you can use this to go on and use any of the other bootstrap JavaScript functionality. So first of all, let's just head over to the bootstrap homepage, go ahead and hit download. And we can pull this in from a content delivery network, which makes it a little bit easier to get started with. So let's start by pulling in the styles. We just need to copy these over into our head like that. And then of course we need to pull in the JavaScript as well. So let's go and grab this. And this loads at the bod bottom of our body. So now we need jQuery. So head over to CDNJS and search for jQuery. And we want to go and pull in version 2.2.2. We can go ahead and grab the minified version. So all we need to do now is include this in script tags like so. So that's pretty straightforward. Now as part of bootstrap, we have this container, which everything should be wrapped in. Now this is where we want to place all of our content because this is our kind of overall theme or our overall template. So we're going to have our navigation up here in a moment. We're going to have flash messages, which we'll pull in a bit later. But overall, we just want to see our content in here. So we do this by defining a block. So a block looks like this and it has a name. So in our case, we can call it content. And then here we just go and end that block. Simple as that. So now what's going to happen is any file that we want to use this template on, we have to define that block. To place that content there. Why don't we just go and set up our navigation first of all, just so we can see it in the context of our overall template. So we're going to create a partial for this just to keep it out the way of this file so it doesn't get too long. So I'm going to create a partials directory within templates and within here I'm going to create a navigation.twig file. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy over all of the markup that we need for our navigation and you can find this as part of the course downloads. All this is is just standard bootstrap code that you can find on their documentation. I've just modified it very slightly and again you can find this all in the documentation and this will just suit our needs. So to get this navigation into our template we obviously need to require it in. So to do this we use include, we give the name of the full path. So in this case, it's templates, partials, and navigation.twig. And we are pretty much done. So now over in our home.twig file, what we can do is extend this template, and we can place the content inside of this block here. Okay, so over in here, let's extend this out. So extends, and we give the name of the template. So it's app.twig. And let's just see what this looks like. When I refresh, you can see that we now have our navigation bar at the top. Now, of course, this has our drop down as well to sign out and change password, because obviously what we're not doing at the moment is dynamically selecting which of these items to show. We just have everything here. So all of the options are here. Everything that we're going to build in is here. So now we need to work out how to get our content in this area here. So Let's just define our block of content. And here we end that block. And here is our home page. So that's as simple as that. The content here will be placed here within our container. 
So let's go and refresh. And it looks like this doesn't work. But in actual fact, there is no padding at the top. If we just bring up the developer tools and go over to the body, and we say maybe add some padding on the top here, you can see that that pushes this down. So what we need to do is include our own style sheet just to fix up these couple of things. So here, I'm gonna go and create a link to a style sheet. And remember when we set up Twig View, we passed in our router and we passed in the current URL. Now that's important because now what we can do is use the base URL function and this will give us the base URL for our application. Then we can go into the CSS directory and we can load in a CSS file. And this means that it's an absolute and not a relative path and your styles will always work. So let's create this app.css file and just quickly fix up this top padding. So in here, we want to create a body selector and then we want to add padding at the top of say 80 pixels. And while we're at it, we'll add some padding on the bottom of say 40 pixels. Perfect. So now we should see that that works perfectly. So over in our head, we can see that we have the full path now to that style sheet. So whichever route we're on, this is gonna work. So that is our template or our base template at least set up. We're not gonna be touching the home page, but of course we're gonna be going ahead and creating views for every other page that we create. And all we need to do is extend that base template and output the content that we need.